So we're in Corona lockdown, so I thought I'd have a little play with the uh, tricopter design. So this is an original tricopter. Each motor is sprayed out 120 degrees. So they're equally placed around. Whereas this one, it's obviously, as my little girl calls it, a Y. These two at the back are only 60 degrees apart. Um, now it happens to fly very nicely and it's got some quite nice handling characteristics. The idea maybe at some stage would be to put wings in here and allow this to pivot forward to allow it to push it forward as well. So I'll give this one a little fly so you can see how it handles. So while I'm flying this, I'm just going to do some uh, narration. It doesn't really work with me trying to talk over the uh, noise of the uh, propellers anyway. So you can see I'm flying this around the garden, and uh, it's really quite a small garden I've got, and uh, surrounded by, let's say, uh, solid objects. But this the tricopter really handles nicely. I'm able to throw it around and spin around very quickly. It seems to uh, perform even better than a standard tricopter. There's something about a tricopter that uh, handles so um, nice. I think it's all due to the uh, yaw being controlled by that uh, servo. It just spins around so very nicely. But you'll see here in that picture the uh, servo wasn't actually having to do much to maintain it from spinning. So you're about to see me do several spins in the garden. Um, I think my confidence was growing at this stage and it is so very stable. So the idea with this model was to uh, replace the arm with one that tilts the front motor and you'll see that in a minute. Obviously I wanted to check it flew with a standard yaw control. So here is this front motor as you saw it tilts. It will actually go very nearly horizontal And as Thomas said, you can see I click the switch and off it flies. And it does really fly nicely. As Thomas said, it does make it quite fast. You'll also see as it's flying forward it remains fairly horizontal, whereas a normal uh, drone would have, to would have to lean to the direction it was going. So I should point out I've made no changes to the flight controller um, apart from uh, reversing the rudder due to the uh, servo acting uh, the other way. Um, the flight controller is still handling the model. It doesn't actually know that that front motor is tilted. Um, the front motor is uh, controlled directly from the receiver and not via the flight controller. So I tilt it and the flight controller just keeps doing its job and tries to keep it still. I think there's a lot more to be done with this uh, model. There's a lot more to experiment with. I do believe that adding wings would be quite an interesting uh, part. Uh, the intention being um, you tilt the motor forwards and with that forward momentum and wings you might generate a little bit of lift and then the two rear motors would uh, potentially slow down. Anyway, for the final part of this, I've just had a little experiment in my garden. I wanted to see how far I could tilt the front motor while hovering in the garden. And you'll see I actually managed to uh, get it to tilt quite far. Um, I am fighting it. The more I tilt it, the more I have to put the uh, elevator back to pull the model back. But as you can see, I've really got the angle quite far. And whilst I was reviewing this footage, I realised the front motor was absolutely screaming. And I'm wondering if it wasn't very nearly at 100%. Anyway, thank you for watching. And uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe. And uh, you'll be kept up to date with all my uh, latest inventions. Thank you.